Alright car explainers, today we will be going over all the advanced driver assist systems in the 2022 Kia Sorento. This will include highway drive assist, side view monitor, and other functions. Here uh, it's kind of washed out, but the engine start stop icon does pop up near the 3 in the tachometer there. We're going to turn on auto brake hold. This kind of holds you at a stop uh, every time you come to a complete stop. So again, they use green as kind of an active function, and then now, uh, as we start off, the auto hold icon goes to white when it's on standby. Uh, and you'll only see that function on standby when you turn the switch on, uh, when you uh, start the vehicle each time. So fairly consistent across their features. White means the system is in standby. Uh, green means it's kind of active or alert or ready to go. Here we have the side view monitor, and it does work for both sides of the vehicle. It displays in the respective side of the digital cluster here in the top trim Sorento. In the middle, we have the uh, kind of vehicle drive assist uh, display on the cluster, you'll see kind of the lane lines. They go from kind of a gray to filled in white, and that's when it does identify the lane lines there. So now the lane icon goes green, noting it is active. Uh, so it does uh, see the lines, and it is ready to keep you uh, actively in the lanes. The initial active support kind of gives you a blink uh, of that icon and then obviously the warning uh, of the vehicle screen itself. Solid white lane lines around the car graphic indicate that the lanes are identified. We do have the active steering assist on uh, for the lane departure or lane keep assist. That is something you can customize or choose uh, whether you want it to be active or whether you just want kind of the alerts uh, when you start to drift out of your lane. Some people really don't like kind of that active tugging feel uh, as they're driving the vehicle. So it's nice that Kia lets you choose whether you just want alerts or whether you do want that kind of extra help to kind of keep your vehicle tucked uh, within the lane itself. Again, we see kind of that active element. And as you indicate, that lane icon signal goes to white. Um, so again, just kind of the car communicating when it's locked in and when you're kind of um, moving across. There we have the blind spot warning with the audible alert. With the adaptive cruise control, you turn the system on and it sets in one push of the button. Uh, other vehicles, you turn the system on and then you push set. Uh, this is one touch. And one button cycles you through the various following distances or gap adjustments uh, that you can have with the car in front of you. And I like all the different icons and um, visual displays that they do kind of put in that center cluster. You can turn off the highway driving assistant. Highway driving assistant is kind of their lane centering function. Uh, so here adaptive cruise control is still on, uh, but now we turn the HDA back on. So it's that steering wheel icon and then the HDA uh, wording just above that car icon. 
And just to note here, HDA is not intended to be a hands-free system. Uh, just kind of showing you what the warnings and communication that the vehicle tries to give you uh, around the features and functions that it has. So start to give you that warning, keep your hands on the steering wheel, and if we go a little bit longer, the car starts to get a little bit angrier at you. Again, this is intended to be a hands-on system. Uh, it is not by any means a hands-free driving system like Blue Cruise or uh, Super Cruise and now Ultra Cruise from uh, Ford and GM. Here we're keeping the assistive steering, uh, but no cruise control. Um, not quite sure the uh, profile that you would want kind of that lane centering system on, but not having cruise control. Um, but let me know, do you kind of mix and match your advanced driver assist systems? Um, I tend to use adaptive cruise quite a bit, especially with traffic, um, and I may turn off the lane centering function uh, if we're going on long drives or if it's uh, a fairly curvy road. Um, again, you kind of feel kind of a tug or uh, like you're fighting the system. Even with the lane centering system, as good as it is, uh, still kind of takes a different line uh, within the lanes than um, I would choose to myself. Here we'll start to see a pretty good example of the vehicle ahead of you is now identified. Um, and as we get closer, uh, it'll obviously get closer within that image uh, itself there in the center of the cluster. If you use adaptive cruise control, what uh, gap adjustment do you typically use or follow distance? Do you use kind of the maximum gap? Do you use the minimum? Do you use something in between? Uh, most cars kind of have at least kind of three to five, sometimes six uh, different follow distances that you can select. So which kind of follower are you? Sorrento can bring you to a stop and hold you there. Uh, it'll restart on its own for short stops, but with a lengthy stop, uh, we see the indication on the right-hand side. You can press resume um, or you can tap the gas pedal lightly. Another nice uh, kind of warning or chirp was that the vehicle in front of you has driven away. Um, for those of you who may or may not uh, look down at your cell phone. I know none of you guys do that, um, but it's kind of a nice reminder to gently uh, indicate to you that, hey, the car in front of you is left. Uh, you may need to get on your way as well. Uh, first saw this on the Subaru EyeSight systems and now seeing it uh, here on the Kia vehicles as well. Well, 
Well, we hope this video gave you a good idea of how to use the various ADAS systems in the Kia Sorento, uh, understand a little bit more about how the vehicle is trying to communicate with you as the driver, as to any warnings, any indications of whether the system is active or not, um, just to hopefully build your confidence uh, in being able to use these systems and understanding uh, the limitations of them as well. Um, again, great set of technology that is a driver assistance system. Um, again, driver is you. You maintain complete control and authority over the vehicle itself. Um, there are no self-driving vehicles out there, uh, but this is really, I think, a set of technologies that can really help relieve uh, a lot of stress either on long drives or even potentially in stop-and-go traffic. Uh, thanks again for watching. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, and follow us. We are on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and obviously right here on YouTube. Let us know if there's anything you want to see next here on Carsplain.